which a Jack Onimo, you know, Jack Onimo taught music and all that. You mean he stumbled into music? So from from BT, he's now a global music star, touring the world. COVID now slow, no bad cash. In the so he now. wasn't originally interested in music. I think he had some interest, but wow, um, the VC scores gave him a better understanding of music and set him on a good course to be a professional musician. Think talking about courses that will set you on a better trajectory. We have a four and a half week course in mm -hmm. june we call it the city business festival yes some of it is on radio some on television you can join by zoom and lots of content online after those courses you, know, you can also set your life in a different direction and become a global <laughs> star i'm telling you we are going to talk about how to get your business back after covid 19 how to work from home with new tools and strategies to make you more productive understanding and profiting from agribusiness to feed your family and stabilize our dollar <laughs> and understand <laughs> innovating for the future serious matter in fact on the business edition this morning we'll be exploring that whole agribusiness thing a teaser but don't forget that the city business festival starts in june is brought to you by absa bank it's going to be mind-blowing all right so if you have something to tell us on the show this morning whatsapp 054-998-6996 and we're going straight into the headlines let's start with the Ghanaian times could you okay the Ghanaian times aviation ministry has no contract with lcb worldwide ghana limited this is according to the minister Nearly 5,000 MSMEs apply for COVID-19 business support fund. Schools not reopening now. Consultations are ongoing on easing restrictions. This is the information minister. And I think the biggest news for me on the front page of the Ghanaian Times is that Coa FX, eight other herbal products, let me add, made in Ghana, mm -hmm. recommended as immune support treatment for COVID-19. Hey. Yes, by our own Center for Plant Medicine. All right. Interesting. The Daily Graphic says, 24 hours after stimulus package launch, 8,000 apply for loan. Mm. EC outlines safety protocols for voter registration. Mm. Atuasian ready to refund 27.5 million CDs to state, and we won't bow to award contract aviation minister. The 27.5 million Ghana CD story is also on the front page of the finder. Founder of Capital Bank ready to refund 27.5 million Ghana CDs to the state. New COVID-19 positive cases and facility admissions declining. This is Dr. Kumar Bwaji. No decision on schools reopening. Stakeholder consultations ongoing. Kojo Opon Kroma. And the Grand Lodge of Ghana donates 100,000 Ghana cities to support COVID-19 isolation and treatment facility. The Daily Guide says, Mahama versus Abronye, police probe Mills' death. Mm. Aviation Minister replies, Guta, Ghana missions give Noguchi $100,000 for test kit. Obinim family wails over bail. Atuasian refunds 1.4 million cities and wager residents panic over cracked dam and looming spillage. Now, the Chronicle's front page has a story with a picture of Obinim, and this time he has the wings of an angel with his arms open. <laughs> and the headline will break you, Bernard. I see Obinim she she nina. Are you serious? That's the. Wow, Obinim she she nina. That's nothing. Wow. Chronicle. Chronicle country <laughs> story. Powerful. What's the story? Maxwell of Furry. Obinim Shishi. But that's the language Ghanaians understand. No. So sometimes the <laughs> professor doesn't work. But that's what they need to say. Obinim <laughs> Shishi. They are the same people that said who who cry. Who who cry. Wabom free. Wabom free. It's the same as We should be given national headline awards. Like Chronicle will win easily. How's that? <laughs> they will win Charlie with a mouth. <laughs> Now, more from the Chronicle. COVID-19 is not going soon. Upon Chroma, Tema, oil refinery mechanical technician charged for murder, and NDC rejects NIAEC explanations. The Daily Statesman says, Let me refund 27.5 million CDs. Ato SM pleads with court for mercy in Capital Bank collapse case. Health implications of marijuana use. And in Koko joins COVID-19 towns with first three confirmed cases. Wow. Wow. Now, the New Weekend Crusading Guide, NDC threatens, quote, blood against EC as plans to pit Ghanaians against uh, new voters register fails. Okay, so as plans to pitch, right? Pitch, yes. Pitch Ghanaians, not pith. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Woman dies in bus crash as police chase maskless driver in Kumasi. Hmm. Skirt, and blouse, uh, skirt and blouse vote to hit Lejokuku 
as anger over Okoboy contesting on a post source and minister allays fears on disinfection systems at airports. Well, the Herald also has a take on the Okoboy matter. It says MPP forces Okoboy's contender to step down. Skirt and blouse voting emerging in Teshi. Maslock deputy boss denies cash for seats. Ali Mohammed's son pops up in dirty politics. And the biggest one on their front page, Akufado's men drive him into chieftaincy disputes as turmoil hits Ekuapim and Gastus under Nana Abudani. Nana Abudani. Nana Abudani. Yeah, man. Now the Gold Street business. 600 million Ghana City soft loan disbursement period begins. All eligibility criteria now in the open. BOG secures $1 billion to meet Forex demand shocks through repo deal with US Fed. B board chairs recommend strategic measures for businesses, measures needed to keep private sector in operation. This is one of the things that I'll be looking yeah, at. But the Gold Street, sometimes their headlines are like seminar topics. It's too long. <laughs> Charlie, what's this board chairs recommendation? Strategies increases for Charlie. No, <laughs> no, I mean, I like the paper. They have very okay. Le le paper. Let's suggest, let's, let's make it easier. Board chairs suggest ways to keep businesses in operation in crisis periods. That's even okay. Uh, well, that's uh, and gold drives producer price inflation in April 2020. Mm. The BNFT mm. says time to localize all food. Production stabilized CD that's from the ADBMD. CD loses grip on dollar. Hmm. Days of cheaper fuel almost over. IESC's pump right pump prices rising to five Ghana CDs. Okay, let's take you into the uh, news online citybusinessnews.com. EU's blacklisting of Ghana over money laundering breaches flawed. This is according to finance minister. Also, GEPA to increase coconut export to boost earnings and create jobs. Association of Bankers appoints John Ewa as Deputy CEO and ASEP opposes approval of Ghana Gas Company as National Gas Aggregator. That's City Business News. Now, City Newsroom itself, it's too early to start discussing new normal. This is a biostatistician. Our case count hits 6,486 with 1,951 recoveries. Meanwhile, Mahama calls for development of telemedicine tools to boost healthcare system. And as you read, schools won't reopen now. Consultations going on. This is upon Chroma. MajorOnline.com. Ghana records 217 new cases, bringing our total to 6486 with 1951 recoveries. Also, Professor Day says teachers should be ready to forgo 50% of their salary if they want to stay home. And uh, power outage hits parts of Ghana. This was last night. Mm -hmm. 86 recovered from COVID-19 in Eastern Region. 30 more infections among public health personnel. Star FM News. Obri Boahin being probed over radio comment by CID. Also, new voters register EC's persistence is receiving for disaster, according to NDC. In the Unibank case, court orders AG to furnish Dufour lawyers with documents. And if you Quanta hospital nurses, 20 of them test positive. And those are some of the stories here. So let's start with the uh, latest on COVID-19. Then we'll jump into some economic stories. And then, of course, the applications. Nathan, your, your story, your paper has 8,000. Yes. Most papers had 5,000. 5, so let's 6, use the daily graphic on the relief fund for COVID-19. Yes. Let's start with that one. Well, it says, just 24 hours after the president launched the 1 billion CD coronavirus alleviation program, or mm. CAP, mm. business support scheme, the National Board and Small Scale Industries was flooded with applications wow. from businesses seeking the opportunity to benefit from the package, the executive director of the MBSSI, a woman you spoke to a few days ago, Mrs. Kosi Yanki Aye, told the Daily Graphic in Accra yesterday that the board received more than 8,000 applications from interested businesses as of the close of business on the day. She added that more than 1,000 persons and institutions had called the board to make inquiries on the financial support meant to cushion businesses against the impact of the raging novel coronavirus. All right, so that's the first story. But let's give you the headline in terms of the numbers. Ghana's case count increases to 6486. Recovery is now 1951. One Citynewsroom.com says Ghana's COVID 19 case count has risen to 6486 from the 6269 announced last Wednesday. This represents a 217 uh, increase. The latest update was published in, on the GHS's website for on May 22. But it's as at May 20. The update indicates that 53 more people have recovered from the virus, putting the total number of persons who have recovered to 1951. Now, the original breakdown, Great Accra 4699, 
Ashanti 988 mm. Central 287 Western 195 Eastern 106 Western North 51 Volta 44 Northing 34 OT 26 <coughs> Upper East 26 Upper West 21 Northeast 2 Bono Region 1 The other regions none at all So that's the big headline Then in terms of places where cases have happened We read this one 20 If young quantum hospital nurses test positive for COVID-19, that's on starnews.com. And the story is simply from the Western region. But it, it says that 20 health workers at the Fian Quantum Regional Hospital in the Western region have tested positive for COVID-19. According to the hospital, a number of measures were put in place to protect the health workers from the virus and would want to ascertain the loopholes. And that story is just part of the many coming in on COVID. Could you? Well, Bernard, I want to give you the bit about the local medication, okay. which have been given recommendations. Mm. Now, the center spread of the Ghanaian Times says, nine herbal products recommended as immune support treatment for COVID-19. Mm. And the story says, the Center for Scientific Research into Plant Medicine at Mampoke Apim in the Eastern Region has recommended the use of COA FS as immune support and treatment of some symptoms of the novel coronavirus. Mm. It further recommended the use of eight other herbal products, including Amen Depot Mix Powder, Hebatin Herbal Powder mm -hmm. and Mixture, Viva Plus Powder, Aisa Opinto Herbal Tea, CD Capsules, Amen Fever Mix Capsules, Amen Chestico Capsules to fight the disease. This was contained in a letter dated May 11 and signed by the Acting Executive Director of the Center, Dr. Kofi Bobi Berima. <laughs> and addressed to the Minister of Health, Kukwa mm. Jumamenu. Now, um, the recommendation was based on four major factors, including the biological activities of the medicinal plants mm -hmm. used in the formulation and the status of the products as FDA registered. Now, according to them, based on their initial evaluation, they submit the recommendations as attached for the necessary action to be taken by the ministry. And this, these nine medicines were part of 33 herbal products submitted to the Ministry of Health for onward submission to establish their potency so for where, the, the question then becomes where does that leave the FDA's comments on core FS? Because they had said they had run a test. <coughs> I think with the FDA's issues, it wasn't that core FX wasn't a good medication, but they said that the the, the products had been contaminated. Okay. So okay. the batch should be redrawn from the market. So that was a specific batch? Yes. So so, so how we, do we different. know if those batches have been removed? Well, I think they, they did that. But the, right. the most important thing for me is for the Ministry of Health to take further action on this. All right. So that we Let me give you two still COVID headlines quickly. MyJohnOnline.com, 86 recover on COVID-19 in the Eastern Region. 13 health personnel in the Eastern Region have uh, tested positive for COVID-19. 12 of them asymptomatic. But we also are told that 86 persons have recovered out of the positive cases in the region. And the Director of Health for the region, Dr. Alberta Brichum Nyako, said that it's important for everyone to obtain social distance and adhere to the safety protocols. And then finally, on my citynewsroom.com, it's too early to start discussing the new normal. This is uh, a biostatistician from Legon. Dr. Dua Dovona, a biostatistician, believes it's too early for the government of Ghana to resign itself for life with the novel coronavirus. He said the government does not the requisite analytical backing to uh, express such sentiments based on the daily distribution of cases in Ghana. All right, now let's talk briefly about the EC because I think that's related. Yep. EC to organize the APAC meeting of our new voters register. I have some stories here. I don't know if you have any EC stories. Yes, there. if you go to page 13 mm. of the Daily Graphic, the EC has outlined safety protocols for its mass voter registration exercise for the December 7 elections. Mm. Now, although the EC is yet to announce a new date for the commencement of the exercise, its acting director of public affairs, Mrs. Sylvia Arno, mm. told the Daily Graphic in an interview that the safety protocols put in place by the EC would ensure that all prospective registrants and officials were protected from contracting COVID-19. The opposition NDC, however, maintains the voters register as it stands is credible, so there is no need for the EC to compile a new one for this year's general election. And more on this, the NDC is rejecting the NIA and the EC's explanations, and Max Olofori writes for the Chronicle that the NDC has rubbished explanations given by the EC and the NIA and the New Patriotic Party about its accusation that the three were conniving to rig the 2020 elections. The party said the EC intends to use the Ghana card, knowing very well a higher percentage of Ghanaians do not have it. Now, the NDC said the EC, NIA, and MPP are using that move to disenfranchise many Ghanaians 
from having their names in the new voters register. In fact, there's one story on Star News that uh, Elvis Ankara says 93% of voters in the Upper East and Upper West regions can't vote if that method were to be used. Now, let's go into something else. The education, Minister of Information is saying that schools are not reopening now. And then we can link it to stuff for us that has been saying to teachers. So this story was on almost all the headline front pages that the um, claim that schools were reopening uh, soon was not true. Information Minister Kujo Pronkroma has debunked claims that the government intends to reopen schools re soon, regardless of the surge in COVID-19 cases in the country. According to him, a number of stakeholder consultations are being held in that regard. He was speaking at the press briefing yesterday and called on stakeholders and groups and parents to channel their energies to finding possible ways of resolving the COVID-19 challenge. Now, let me give you an other version. Mm -hmm. So, on my journal line, teachers should be ready to forgo 50% of their salary if they want to stay home. Professor uh, Stephen Adair says teachers, and he's the board chairman of GRA and uh, a leader, has says that uh, teachers must be ready to forgo half of their salaries if they want to continue staying at home. The outbreak of COVID-19 in Ghana has resulted in the closure of schools to curb the spread. So we can join news up front with Sintenamo. <clears throat> the educationist stated that Aside the teachers' writing letter to protest the imminent reopening of schools, they should have made some positive contributions on how to protect teachers and students and a reduction in their salaries. Because according to him, public sector workers are not entitled to their salaries if they are not working. All right, let's move to other stories. Well, let's, if you go okay. to, sorry, if you go to, if you stay on page 13 of the Daily Graphic, the Capital Bank saga is here because there was an update from the court. Yeah. Now, the founder of the defunct Capital Bank, Mr. William Atuesian, who's on trial with three others for their involvement uh, in the collapse of the bank, has offered to refund 27.5 million CDs to the state. His lawyers have informed the Accra High Court. Mm. The amount is part of a 620 million CD liquidity support given to the Capital Bank or given to Capital Bank by the Bank of Ghana between June 2015 and November 2016. So it goes on to say the prosecution has accused Mr. Essien of carrying the 27.5 million CDs in jute bags, mm. which he distributed to some individuals for business promotion purposes. So yeah, the story and where are those on. individuals who took the money? <laughs> or he now he will pay for everybody? Well, it looks like uh, there are other people involved. So it, the story goes on to say that he, Mr. Fitzgerald Odonko, Managing Director of MC Management Services, a company said to be owned by Mr. Essien, uh, Tetenete, and a businesswoman, an MD of Reroy Cables Company Limited. All of these people have been mentioned in the story and they are on trial uh, on 26 counts. And the story says that Mr. Asian has already paid 1.4 million Ghana cities of the 27.5 million Ghana cities. Now, I, I, I like the BNFT front pages. Mm -hmm. They have some very interesting story, stories yeah. about the cities travails against the dollar yes and how we should also produce our own food just run through quickly for us yes later. so that's on the front page and on page two as well mm. obed atayeboa writes after three months after a, a three months victory over the wrestle with its major trading currency the u.s dollar mm -hmm. the city finally lost its valor mm. and entered into depreciation mode as it has succumbed to the threat from the devastating impact of the coronavirus pandemic. The local currency was at on top of its gain in the first quarter of the year as it appreciated 1.22% by the end of January, 4.48% by the end of February, and 1.66% mm. at the end of March using the Bank of Ghana mid-rate uh, figures recording three months' consecutive gains against the US dollar, a feat that has not been achieved in memorable recent past. So it goes on to detail what, what is exactly happening to the city. Yes, has led now, to, to deal with the city crisis, the ADBMD is saying what we should. Yes, he says it is time to localize mm. all food production so we stabilize the city. Story written by Bernard Yao Ashiade mm -hmm. says COVID 19 presents Ghanaians with the best opportunity to localize the entire food production value chain in the country, become less reliant on the import of basics such as rice and poultry, and finally offer the best chance to sustain stability of the local currency. That's according to Dr. John Kofi Mensa, who's MD of the Agri Development Bank, and who was speaking in Accra mm. at the official launch of a 500 million CD project to finance and localize the full value chain of poultry okay. from day old chick producers okay. to broiler production and so on. Mm. And so on. Okay, so earlier this week, or was it last week, we had a conversation about the Ghana Water Company and the fact that people were not getting water. Mm. Now, the minority in Parliament is asking the Ghana Water Company and other agencies, are you facing any financial or technical challenges? Because mm. according to them, residents in Accra 
for some time now are not getting water regularly. Mm. There is acute water shortage in areas such as Adenta, Madina, Teshila, Achimota, Shaima, and Tema, and Kaswa. And they want to know from the Ghana Water Company if they do not have the funds to deal with processing okay. water. I, I thought you would give me in the be, opinion. I, I'll bit. give you that. I'll give you, I just want to leave the story <laughs> to another one. Not me what, what we are not looking as, as, as we talk about the money, is also talking about the raw water, the pollution which is still mm. ongoing. And Prof. Alfred Otenyebo has written an article in the finders that Ghana must protect, promote, and respect its natural areas. Mm -hmm. And he links it to a lot of the things, medicine, water, uh, health, and everything. You may want to read that. Now, let me give you the opinion story. Mm. Uh, Max Ofori writes, and the headline is, mm. <laughs> Just give us a summary. We don't and, have time to read the whole story. Okay, so what he's basically talking about is the fact that We've seen Obinim living a lavish lifestyle mm -hmm. with a lot of followers. Mm. And he's been at the CID and he's not been able to um, meet, bill meet conditions the bill conditions for two days. That is 100,000 Ghana cities and three charities. Mm -hmm. And he's asking, is the lavish lifestyle we see something that is non-existent or something that exists, but maybe COVID or something else has mm -hmm. uh, cleared his, his funds. So mm. basically that's what he's talking about. Okay. If you go to page three of the Daily Guide, it says Mahama versus Abronye. Mm. And uh, the story is there are strong indications that the police administration will probe the circumstances that led to the death of then-sitting president Professor John Mills in July 2012. The topic became a taboo when the NDC administration, led by the then-president John Mahama, mm. on whose ticket the tax law professor was in office, ignored calls to probe the untimely death of the first president in Ghana to have died in office. So it goes on to say mm. that Kwame Bafo, a.k.a. Abronye DC, has said a few things, and that has uh, charted okay. the... Now, the Herald's lead story is on the president's seeming inability to solve two chieftaincy problems, although he's credited for solving the Dabon crisis. The story says, questions are beginning to emerge as to why the magic one the president employed in resolving the Dabon crisis cannot be used in resolving the Kwapim chieftaincy challenge and the gun <laughs> issues. Now, okay. he's basically saying that the questions have been raised because some people close to the president have been fingered in some of the controversies. And, for example, he says that in the case of the a Kwapim issue, one Victor Newman has been mentioned. And in the case of the gas two, Stanley Nia Adri Blankson. And then he also then starts narrating to us how, for example, some sheep that rams that and bottles of shnab that were sent to plead the climate of a Kwapim were rejected. Mm. And then how uh, in that particular case, uh, a complaint has been made to the National House of Chiefs because some people think that the appointment of CRD Ukwesi Akufu or the installation did not follow the right procedures. So that's basically the story. Then there's another one on Maslock deputy boss denying cash for seats as Ali Muhammad's son pops up in dirty politics. So a lot of stories like this. You, see, you also have the Oko Boy story mm -hmm. where as elections it's draw closer, boss. we're seeing a lot of local constituency stories gaining front page at attention. Uh, internationally, there's uh, not much to talk about except that our COVID cases are well over five million globally and uh, it's becoming almost a <laughs> something that everybody's talking about over five million COVID 19 cases is what we're dealing with with over 300,000 people dying globally all right gentlemen thank you for being on the show today we're going next to the city business news stay with us this is the city breakfast show the city's biggest conversation